Okay, so uh, so let's continue here. And uh, so far, we've got our network helpers kind of working for us. Right now, we're actually just using these HTTP tasks, and we're really just using this one, HTTP task, and HTTP response serializer. Um, now what we're going to do is, now that we've got the response back and it's in the JSON format, I'm going to switch to this uh, JSON, Swifty JSON, to take the JSON apart. So let's take a look at the Open Weather class, the Open Weather Map class. And um, in the last in the last video, you know, we got our request working. We used the get method to go out on the internet and grab the weather and put the city name in here to get weather for a particular city. And now what I want to do is I want to take that data apart because it's coming in as a dictionary, kind of a JSON dictionary thing. I'm not sure exactly what this thing is, right? But it uh, kind of looks like JSON, but we format it as a dictionary. You know, one of the big problems here is that, you know, the data coming into the program, uh, we don't really know what it is, right? So, you know, it's, it's really kind of a mystery to our software, like what it is. So we have to format it and kind of work with it in one way or another and kind of convert it into something that we'll understand and kind of cast it in a way where our application can understand it, right? So that's what we're doing here. We're kind of casting as a dictionary. But now inside that dictionary, there's all these values like name, London, ID with this number, you know, icon with a name, right? And so, you know, we have to get these values out and we don't really know what these values are, right? So uh, so let's take a look here. So what do we want to do? Um, I'm going to start right here. I'll, I'll just replace that print function. And what I want to do is I want to get the various little bits of data here. And what I have is, um, is I have this, this actually it's this optional right here, right? So, so when we get this dictionary, when I cast this with the, with the, ex, or the, the question mark there, it's saying like, hey, this is gonna be a dictionary or it's gonna be nil. So it might be a dictionary, might be nothing, right? Or you know, if it's not a dictionary, then it's, it's nil. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put an if statement here around this like that, right? So now I'm saying like, hey, you know, if uh, this response is a dictionary, if we can convert it into a dictionary, then we can move on to this if statement and do the code inside here, okay? And so from here, now what I wanna do is, I, and it's kinda, it seems a little strange, but you know, because this looks pretty good here, but it's hard to deal with that. And it's kind of easier if we run it through this Swifty JSON. So let's run it through there first. So I'm going to say, let's convert the, um, the dictionary into a JSON object. So I'll say, you know, if, if we get our dictionary, then let's let JSON equal JSON. And then we'll just put dictionary inside there. Okay, so I put my dictionary object inside the JSON function here, and, uh, and then that's going to convert it, okay? And now if I want to get the, the values out of here, uh, we can see that we have a value at the top level called name, and the value is London, right? And then there's a value called weather, and then that's followed by the colon, and then there's this parentheses right here, and that means that this is an array, and then it's got one item in it that is uh, an object. So it's a little harder to get to that stuff, but, uh, but we got this name is right at the top level and ID is at the top level. So how are we going to get at those? And we're going to follow the same procedure to get at each one of, you know, every single little piece of data in here that you want to get to, okay? Let's just start with name because that's an easy one. So we'll, yeah, actually, we're going to use the same sort of setup that we had here, right? We'll say, you know, if let name equal so you know we don't know that the name value is going to be in there like what if we what if it returns some different json here then you know maybe name doesn't exist in there right we don't know so we're going to say hey if let and so if it's going to it's going to look at the data and if it's there we'll get it if not you know it's an optional so it'll, it'll return nil so we'll say if let json uh, bracket right name, and then as a string, right? So we'll say, hey, you know, if 
you know, JSON bracket name, that means the item inside this thing called name. And if it's a string, you know, it'll be converted to a string, then, then it'll be assigned to this variable name. Okay, so if let name equal this value from the JSON thing, if that works, then we can do the code inside here. Maybe we'll just, for right now, we'll just print the name. Okay, and then if we want to do another one, um, we'll do, uh, let's do the ID, right? So I said, could say like, if let ID equals JSON bracket ID dot as a, I wonder if we could do as int there. I don't know, I'm not sure about that one. Let's try that, right? I think it's not going to like that. Oh, maybe it's okay. Let's just, we'll just copy this here. And uh, I mean, we could actually get this number as a string too. And in truth, I, I really don't even want the, uh, the ID number. I'm just doing this for an example. So, so there we go. So hopefully we see name and ID now in the, in the, the terminal down here. Let's try this. So we'll type in uh, London again, just for fun. Except we got to spell it right. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Name London ID is two six whatever, right? So that seems to be working, right? So, uh, so actually, you know, I don't really want, you know, these values just to print them into the terminal. I want to, you know assign them to um, to variables that I can use in in my other you know my other program right so or my other class right so so what I want to do is when I get the city name here you know we actually get the city name that you typed in but when open weather map finds the city it'll you know it let's get the city name from them because it might be a little bit different they'll they'll you know they'll fix any potentially fix any spelling errors or you know, give us a more accurate name. So why don't we do this? Let's say city name equals name, right? And then if we want an ID, maybe up here, I'll say var ID, right? Actually, you know, I don't even want the ID, but uh, let's change this one. Really, you know what I want is I want the temperature here, right? So, uh, Let's take a quick look and see if we can find our temperature. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this down a little bit here. And then that way I can I can see the format here for the data. So, so we got coordinate, system, message. And then where is temperature, right? Oh, there's temp, right? It's a little hard to, you know, it's a little hard to read this. Um, so why don't we do this? Let's look up, uh, you know, there's a... JSON formatter on the internet. So I'm going to just Google JSON formatter and paste it in here. And then I'll say process, right? And then we can scroll up a little ways here, right? And then we can see that our JSON object, you know, it has a top level coordinate object, system object, weather object, you know, base, main. Oh, so under main, we have temperature. Okay, so if I want to get the temperature here, what I'll need to do is, let's get temperature there. Let's say temp is going to be, now let's go look at this thing again, right? So that's going to be under main, and then there's an object called temp. So let's see here, let's do... Uh, main temp and then we'll get the temp as um, let's under they, they have float there let's do float maybe that's the wrong one right I got some spelling or problem here what is this Oh yeah, I forgot. Let's make sure if we're going to talk about the city name variable that we've defined above, we got to put self in front of it. So 
let's do that. And then maybe on this one we can do, um, you know, for right now we'll just print it out, right? And we'll say, uh, let's just print name for now, okay? And then this should print the temperature too, hopefully. Do, do, do. So let's wait for the simulator there, and then it opens up. And then we'll go to city here, and we'll type in uh, London again. And then there, oh yeah. So this was underneath the, the thing there, but oh look, it's got name London. Actually, I put name here, that should have been temp, right? But, uh, um, but then it says 279.66 degrees. That's in Kelvin, right? Let's see if that matches what we have here, right? Oh, 279. Well, it's pretty close. Maybe the temperature changed in the last few minutes, but it uh, seems pretty close. Yeah, why is my why is mine off by 10 degrees? I don't know. Maybe maybe that's London in another location. Let's I'm kind of curious. Let's let's try that again. Let's get our app here. And this time what if I type in London UK? Oh, 279. Actually, you know, I guess I read that wrong. It's 279, right? So that's actually ac absolutely right. You know, I guess the temperature did change a fraction of a degree there. So, I, you know, I think it's kind of working, right? So there you go. There's, uh, there's how to get started there. And essentially what we want to do is we want to get each one of these little pieces of data here, okay? See if you can figure that out on your own. I'll do another video later where we, where we work it all out, okay?